it's still looking bad for Arsenal. They've just been knocked out of the FA Cup by Blackpool. They won 3-2 at home, which means we will have to play Blackpool in the next round of the FA Cup. The fifth round at Old Trafford. And I'll just quickly show you guys the next round of the FA Cup. Who will be playing who? You've got the likes of City playing Swansea, Chelsea against Stoke. But going back to Arsenal, I mean, there's still no sign of the Arsenal board just giving up on Montella. you think now that we're into the new year, we're, we're into February now. If this keeps up, surely they're not going to hold on to him now to the end of the season. It's just stupidity. I'm so looking forward to this next game. It's against Arsenal in the Premier League. Look at their recent form. They've lost, drawn, lost, drawn. <laughs> My God. And Ramsey and Ozil are both out injured. That hasn't helped them one bit this season. I know that. So let's... Uh, Go ahead and pick my team. Oh, we've got some players that are looking pretty tired. So I'm going to bring in Kigawa as my central attack in mid in that number 10 role. Um, I'll bring in Vertonghen as well for Johnny Evans, who's looking tired. Uh, switch out Shaw for Patrice Evra. Phil Jones in. He comes as a right back. Keep Garay on the pitch. Tom Cleverley, shall we bring in? I'll switch Carrick over there. I'll bring in Carvalho as my defensive midfielder. Cleverly won't even be put on the bench. Raphael's only got 12 days until he returns to full fitness. Yes! Because he's been out now for three months. It'd be good to have him back in the team. But I think that's the team I'm going to go with anyway. Alright, so here are the team sheets. Arsenal going with that 3-5-2. Didn't work out the last time we played them. Is it going to work out for them this time? Kind of surprised to see Arteta as a wing back. They've got Cohen Trout. They've got... Savic, Konchelny, Chesney in goal. They've got Kazola and Sanya and Oxley chamberlain and Podolski on the uh, the bench. And there's my starting eleven as well, Ever. You've already seen it. We've got De Gea in goal, of course. James Wilson starts on the bench. Van Persie still out with that injury. Let's keep pushing on here. And Arsenal have been considered favourites. Maybe the bookies are going for Arsenal to pick up a win here because not only are they in need of it, but they're playing at home as well. It's going to be a very interesting game. And surely, if, if they lose this game, surely there's got to be some movement from the boards to try and push Montella out? Surely. Surely they can't hold on to him for this long. Let's see what happens anyway. Good team talk. Let feel and finish it off. Let's start the match. And again, there's no, there's no sound. I'm going to switch it to uh, close here, to 3D. But there's no sound. Ever since I switched it to uh, 2D, maybe in the last episode or the one before that, there has just been no sound. I might might have to go and have a look at the uh, the settings. Maybe it's just a glitch. I don't know what's going on. But here we go anyway. Oh no. Dispossessed there. Arsenal on the attack. Well done for Tongan. Arsenal fans will hate that seeing that he was a former Tottenham player. Here we go. Rooney! Oh, go oh Yes! Patrick Herman on the rebound. Rooney went in, was tackled by uh, Schnezny, who came out to meet him. But the ball fell to the feet of Herman. We'll see it here on the replay. Look at Rooney as he makes that run. Good challenge by Schnezny, but what were his defenders doing? They should be on that line trying to stop the ball from going in. Dear, oh dear. But good start for United. It's good. It's good. Let's see what happens now. Can United maybe get a second goal against Arsenal? You can just imagine Montella pacing up and down within that managerial box maybe with his head in his hands that would be a that would be a picture wouldn't it for the oh crap Giroud putting Arsenal back on level terms in front of the home fans I was just about to say what a picture that would be for the back of the newspapers Montella with his head in his hands whilst the game is playing out but Giroud how the hell did he sneak that one in past De Gea what is going on there it's not very often you see Giroud score a goal like that as well, far out. And we'll make the changes as well to try and clamp down on Giroud. Keep him quiet now. And we are going to go in at half-time. Level with Arsenal. And we'll be... No, actually I won't be aggressive. There's no need to be. I think we've I, we've done okay. We Well, we've done better than Arsenal anyway on that pitch. So just stay assertive with them. Let's see what happens in the second half. Need to keep an eye on some of my players' conditioning. Especially, uh, I think, yeah, it's Michael Carrick down to 77% there. So I'll have to think about making a sub soon. Coming up to the 50th minute, Phil Jones is on a yellow now. And here come Arsenal. And Wilshire. 
Down to uh, Arteta. Here we go. Nicely intercepted there by Phil Jones. And it's Patrick Herman chasing the ball down. It's good to see. Yes, mistake made by Arsenal. Anka Gara could have easily have made it 2-1 to United. I'm going to make a sub right now. And what I'm going to do is push Kagawa over to the left and I'm going to take off Danny Welbeck and bring on Wan Mata. Some fresh legs there. I know he's not looking that fit, Mata, but it, it'll add to the team, I'm sure. Hopefully uh, support Rooney as well. When pushing forwards, we've got a throw. And Arsenal on the break. Bentner now. What's he going to do? Giroud. They're passing it back now. Nicely won there by Evra. Ooh, could have worked out. We've won it again. William Carvalho. Rooney, yes! Rooney makes it too. Nicely taken. Nicely taken. Do you see that that opening there as well by Schnezny that he left? William Carvalho to Herman. Herman to Kagawa. Just pass the ball along the grass. Beautifully taken by Rooney. And United in the lead. Now you can imagine Montella with his head in his hands. And I'm going to think about making another sub here and changing our way of uh, play as well. Shall I bring on Zaha or Smallin? Maybe both of them at the same time. I'll, I'll bring on Zaha. Add to our attack again. Maybe go for a third. And I've always got time to bring on Smallin as well. I'll risk it with Jones. Ever as well is on a yellow card. Wait for the subs to be made. I might think about changing our mentality here now to uh, contain. Very fluid. We're getting close to the end of the game. I don't want to concede another goal. don't want them to come away with a point. If they can drop all three points here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, a good save there by De Gea. I thought there was a penalty given then. But it was a foul made by Wilshere. Whew. Chill. Chill. Just chill out. All right, we'll make the uh, the changes there as well. So contain, very fluid, waste time. All they've got to do once they get the ball in their possession is just pass it around. Waste time. Simple as that. William Carvalho, nice cross over the top, switching the play. Saha couldn't hold on to it though. And Arsenal, they're looking for it, aren't they? I mean, they've got it in them. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's got to lob the keeper. Wasted opportunity. <laughs> Thankfully, it went wide of the mark. And United can restart from the back now. Yes, come on. Time's almost up for Arsenal. Yes, blow that whistle. Yes! Yes, we've beaten Arsenal again this season. And that's another three points added. Surely, surely Montella's going to be getting the sack soon. Oh, it's so frustrating. I want it to happen now. Everyone's waiting for it. I mean, Arsenal, fair play. I mean, they have most of the ball, 51%. Close game, I suppose, but... They came out on top when it came to possession, but we still still won the game. That's the main thing. Any news? Kagawa close to triggering clause. Any news on Montella getting the sack? United edge out opponents in close encounter. Herman impresses for United. Blanc spotted at the Emirates. And Arsenal boss are Man United rivalry. I have to apologise. He's got to do more than apologise to those fans. So our next game is against Newcastle. It's one of our games in hand as well. And it will be played in front of the home fans at Old Trafford. We are midweek on a Wednesday evening. There is the league table. Look how many games in hand we've got. Quite a few. And we're still top of the table by eight points. But that could all falter. Let's just have a look at their recent results. Newcastle, they've gone on a bit of a run here. Five games unbeaten. They drew that one against Fulham. And they, they've had a couple of easy games to be fair Blackpool Forest Palace on their team they've got Krull and Gold Debushi so Kalachin is still in the team as well Ryan Bertrand they've got Anita who could cause some troubles in the upcoming game against Manchester United they've got Ben Arthur they've got Luke de Jong um, also Papa Cisse now how's he been doing for Newcastle uh, not the best the last three games averaging between 6.8 6.7 not the best at all no, Rem is still in the team as well. Is that a permanent deal? Must be. His two games ago, he averaged 8.6. So great performance there. They've got Gabriel Oberton. So not many uh, additions added to the team from Alan Pardew. But he's doing well to get the most out of them as they are in fourth. So now I've got to choose my team. Who do I pick to play against Newcastle? Who seem to be kind of in form at the moment. Five games unbeaten. Drawing one of those. I'll bring in Chris Smallin. Can't play Phil Jones. He's reached his maximum in yellow cards now. 
We'll play Luke Shaw for this game. Give Patrice Ever a bit of a rest. Um, we'll bring in Mata, of course, for... Kagawa did fantastic in that game against Arsenal. I'll, uh, I'll take out Welbeck, push Matt over to the right, have Herman on the left. I want to use Yanazai as well, Nick Powell, Tom Cleverley. Cleverley's looking fit for the game, but do I drop Carvalho for him? What about Ryan Giggs? Johnny Evans, I think, who is fully fit. I'll start him in this game. Rooney, ooh, Rooney's looking unfit for this, but actually, you know what? I think I'm happy with that. We'll submit the team. Let's go for it against uh, Newcastle United then in the Premier League. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We've got Johnny Evans' back up on the bench. So you guys have already seen my start at 11. Rooney is captain as always. We've got Kagawa, Mata and Herman as well. I can always switch those around if I need to make a sub. Carrick, Carvalho. Newcastle, they're going with the 4-2-3-1 uh, the formation. Papas Cisse does start as well as Ben Arthur. And no sign of Remy, who was fit for the game. United evens as favourites. We'll just mark these guys up and we'll push on to the game. I wonder if there's going to be sand in this one. I have a feeling it's just a glitch in the system. Maybe it's just automatically turn the sound right down on the settings. I, I do need to go and check that out. Actually, I'm just getting so addicted now to just playing game after game. I just want to get on with the season. I will check it out though. Don't worry. The sound will return very soon. Right then, let's start the game. Actually, no, I've just had a brainwave. Let's go over to the team selection. Just quickly switch this over. Patrick Herman, who plays better on the right. I'm going to play him there. Mata as a central attack in mid. And Kagawa on the left. Yes! Why didn't I think of that when I was picking the team to start off with? Crying out loud. But it's sorted now. Before we kick off. Sweet. See how we get on. So five minutes in. Not much happening. Ten minutes. There's still no... Still no sound. There is no sound in this game. Patrick Herman anyway. Yes! <laughs> yes! 1-0 to United. Oh, it's an own goal by Debushi. I thought maybe Kigawa got ahead on that. Look at Patrick Herman. Look at the space he was allowed to just run into. Deadly cross. Kigawa, like, barging into Debushi and he just heads the ball into the roof of the net. United is 1-0 up. That's Manchester United, not Newcastle, obviously. Herman given a warning by the ref. We'll make these changes. We've got another corner. Oh, almost two. Well defended there off the line. Newcastle on the on the break. Debushi down the left-hand side. It's very rare to see that. Smolin goes into the buck. It's annoying without any sound. Mata looks in pain. Oh, no, no, no. He hasn't actually picked up a, a full-on injury, but his conditioning's gone down. Oh, it's gone back up. He is looking nervous as well. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's half time. I thought we were going to get a corner there. All right, I'm happy with the performance, and I think I might, I might take off um, Mata. Who's yeah, we'll do that. He's looking a bit tired. Push Valencia over to the the right, not the left. Have Herman on the left. Valencia on the right. There we go. Then Kigawa in that number ten role. As I said, I would switch it around. They've got a corner here, Newcastle. Ooh, looking dangerous. Going across the front of goal. They're still there. Anita. Oh, wow. Did that? I think that hit the crossbar then. Or was that a save by De Gea? I'll go with the crossbar because the impact it actually made and the foot. Well, the forceful impact. How it came out. Nicely defended again. Just getting it out the area. But Anita seriously is causing us some trouble now. We're coming up to the hour mark. Think about making a sub. Let's. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I'll, I'll take off. Oh, Patrick Herman not having... This certainly isn't the best performance we've seen from this United side, but yet we're still winning, which is good. Shall I bring on... No, 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 no. I'll bring on Zaha. Why not? I brought him on against Arsenal. I'll bring him on against Newcastle. Such a fantastic young talent. We'd love to see him in action more for United in real life as well. And I'm going to be using him a lot more in this career mode. And let's see what he can do then as he comes on. Fresh pair of legs. Very pacey for a winger. It's always good to have in your team. Kagawa loses the ball there. Ben Arthur, who's picked up a knock. Cisse trying to chase down the ball, but De Gea comes out and collects it. And collects it like a beast. Don't make a mistake now, please. Rooney on to Zaha. Beats his man using that pace. Back to Rooney. Tim Krull with a good save, knocking that out for a corner. Can we get a second goal? I'd be happy with that if we can just come away with a comfortable win at Old Trafford. 
and net those three points. Just passing the ball around. But then again, looking at our performance, I think the highest average rating we've got here is just seven. And that's between Garay and De Gea. The rest of the other players, they're just not playing to the best of their ability. They're kind of chilling out. Maybe it's the, uh, the rain that's having an effect on the game for their performance. I'm not sure. But I have switched it to contain now as well. I'm very fluid. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't concede. Wow. That's so close to finding the bottom corner. Just creeping in there. Still 1-0. Coming up to full time now, Carvalho looking very tired, so is Michael Carrick. He's had game after game over the past couple of weeks, Carrick. And there we go, full time, we come out on top with just a 1-0 win. Solid win. I will take that, we, we did well to hold on to it, I suppose, with the chances that Newcastle had. I mean, we, we did dominate with possession as well, and we stayed top by uh, 11 points, so it's not all too bad. Uh, they're crucial points as well, considering that it was a game in hand. And there is the uh, the confirmation as well. Debushi with the own goal. So none of our players got on the score sheet. Kind of disappointing. Dortmund have received the two million from the Kagawa transfer deal because of his clause. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon for the next one. Thanks for watching.